Hello everybody, in this video we're going to be looking at an example in traffic lights and we're going to be handling the events in this example. So let me just run it to show you how it looks like. Alright, this is the result. So we have traffic lights, red, yellow and green colors and three buttons here, red, yellow and green. So let's see how it is drawn. Here we have a class called lights. In this class we have three circles, here, red, yellow and green. And in the constructor we create all these circles and fill them with colors and uh, basically we draw this circle in the constructor. And we have three methods called turn red, turn yellow, turn green, which basically switch s some lights off and turn some lights on. Turn red makes the red red and yellow and green white. And in the main, in the start method, we create such lights, we create three buttons and we add them into VBox and then show them on, on the scene. Basically what we want to achieve is uh, that when we click red and the red shows when we click yellow, the yellow should show up. When we click green, the green should show up and others should be off. All right, so let's do it. So first of all, uh, when we click the button, it fires up the action event. We need to register that uh, event handler for that event uh, with the set on action method. Set on action method accepts a class that implements the event handler interface. So we need to write a class that implements this event handler interface. Let's say it's going to be red action implements event handler action event. Let's implement the abstract method. So what do we do inside? Whenever we click this button, it should change the lights into red. It means it needs to invoke this turn red method. Well, how it can invoke that method if it doesn't have access to these lights? In order to send these lights into this red action, we can basically create an instance of lights inside the red action and then create the constructor for that and then we can just say li dot turn red all right so we have like the reference to the lights and when we register we're gonna just say set on action new red action and we need to pass the lights into it so now we pass the lights into the red action handler and it just turn it to the red color Let's copy this class to the yellow and green because they're going to be the same. First, let's do the yellow. It's, it's done. Here we need to make it green. Alright, so we created three classes three handler classes, now we need to register them. Let me actually move this down a little bit. The registration part yellow dot set on action new yellow action and pass the lights there and green set on action new green action and lights. Alright, let's run it. Let's click on red, yellow and green. So initially it shows all three colors, but when we start clicking on the buttons, it shows the color separately. All right, let's analyze our code. So when we analyze our code, we see that the traffic lights Java, a single Java file has five different classes. So like the traffic lights, the main class, and then we have the traffic lights itself. And then we have three classes for handlers. It's kind of, uh, you know, we may have different kind of problems uh, because each of these class is going to be as a separate class. We're, we can't create such class in, in some other place, for example. And the name is going to be taken. And also the problem with this code is that we need to send this, the reference to the lights into the, into the event handler. So let's uh, refactor this code a little bit and see what can we how can we make this code better let's move these lights out like this okay we're gonna make it 
and the classes variable it, it's still accessible inside but also we're going to move these classes into the traffic lights class like so and also I'm going to move all the remaining yellow action green action classes into the class now you can see that I have a class inside a class right I have a class inside a class this this class is called inner class you can create a class inside a class and this class is going to be called inner class since lights is also inside the class and this is also inside the class it means this class has access to these lights and we no longer need this constructor instead of light we need we're going to write lights and here we're going to remove this extra code and turn this into lights and let's remove this code make this into lights and then we don't need to pass the lights here because these handlers have access to that lights object now our class is smaller the, the size is less let's run and see okay so we see the same result but this time we wrote less code we converted all these handlers as in our class okay now let's go a little bit further uh, we're gonna implement now with anonymous inner classes so creating a class for each event handler is kind of you may end up creating a bunch of classes which you use only once right for each button you just create one instance of this class in this case you can just create anonymous uh, class how do we do that so we want to set action to the red color yeah i mean red, uh, the button red we're gonna do set an action new event handler action event and when we do it inside IntelliJ ID, it's going to automatically put this handle method inside it. Here we have an anonymous class. This is called anonymous class because it creates an instance of this uh, interface in the memory with the implemented abstract method. What shall we write inside? We should do lights dot turn red. That's it. Now let's do the same for the yellow. Yellow dot set on action. We're going to do new event handler action event. What do we do when the yellow button is pressed? We do lights dot turn yellow. What happens when we press the green button? Set on action. New event handler. And what happens? Light dot turn green. Let's run it. So here we see the same example and when we click the buttons the result is the same and our code got even more smaller because we don't have those extra classes in our classes we can make it even more smaller by using lambda expressions let's implement these actions with lambda expressions so I'm gonna just go ahead and remove this piece of code else I'm gonna remove this anonymous class and just write e Put an arrow and then I'm gonna put my statements inside what kind of statements well what what should happen when I click the red button I just need to turn the lights into red color that's it this is the implementation with lambda expressions let's try with the yellow color as well let's run it All right, this is the result of our program so we've substantially made our code smaller by writing less and less code and this is the end result and it works exactly the same and we use lambda expressions here so lambda expressions are a nice way to make your code smaller and achieve the same result thank you guys for your attention see you guys in the next one